Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our coverage of CES 2009 from Las Vegas. Today, we're on this Sony stand. Another big innovation for 2009, we've seen it um, all over the show floor this year, and this is Sony's example, it's widgets, I'm with Ernie, and Ernie's going to tell us about the Sony widgets, so Ernie, what set do we have here and how does it operate? Well Phil, thanks for joining us here at the Sony booth in CES 2009. What we're looking at right here is the Bravia Internet widgets, which you just announced here at the show, and that's going to be where the Sony brings widgets to the television set. Now a widget is something that adds to the interactivity of the viewing experience. At home, my wife likes to surf the internet or watch weather, news and sports with her laptop while she's watching TV. Now she'd be able to accomplish those functions on the television set itself while it's connected to the Ethernet port. Now this feature will be on six of the 22 sets we've announced here at the show on the Z5100 series as well as the XBR9s which we've announced and this set is a KDL46 XBR9 set. Now when the televisions come to market these widgets will be uh, powered by the Yahoo widget engine. Some of the widgets will be unique to Sony and that the graphics will be created specially for the Sony TV but they'll be continued to po be powered by the Yahoo widget engine and of course we have a unique cross media bar interface which will integrate with that functionality as well. So that's Bravia Internet Widgets, and um, reception's been absolutely fabulous here at the show, and folks are looking forward to doing more and more with their television. The icons you see here when the televisions come to market will be able to be sized and enlarged and moved around the screen, so if a customer is doing two things at once, like picture-in-picture -picture or video conferencing, they'll be able to put the icons for the widget where they like them. By the way, these icons, uh, when they're uh, not enlarged, are called snippets. So that's a new word in widget land that we've learned here today uh, at the show from my resident widget experts. But the snippet uh, is the abbreviated version of the icon, for instance, the stock prices. And when a customer chooses to enlarge that snippet, they are focusing the snippet. Uh, so that's the focal area of what they're doing in television. But it's very user friendly. You just need a broadband connection. Uh, and I think it's going to be a great addition to the television lineup this year. Now, a lot of our members on the forums are quite technically minded. Um, but people might pick this video up off YouTube or whatever and not quite understand what we're talking about and maybe think, well, that sounds a little bit complicated. I take it it's a very user-friendly interface. It's an absolutely user-friendly interface. I mean, my mom and dad could do it, absolutely no problem. All you have to do is buy the Bravia television set that is enabled with the Bravia internet widgets, connect a regular ethernet cord to it, ethernet line. Uh, as long as you have a broadband connection, there's no programming, there's no setup that's intricate, and you'll just be able to access these widgets. Now, the great thing about that is it's also customizable for the customer. So the Bravia TVs will ship with a fixed number of widgets, which we haven't determined yet, but some of them will be unique Sony graphics that are powered by the Yahoo engine. Some of them will probably be Yahoo widgets powered by the Yahoo engine, but customers will also be able to add widgets from the Yahoo widget gallery. So if a customer gets the Sony grouping when they buy the set, they'll be add, able to add additional widgets that specialize in their areas of interest as well. So I think the best way to explain it to customers is if you really like sports and you're watching your favorite sports game and you have your computer going to kind of follow other, other games or you're doing it on a BlackBerry type device. Device. Now you'll be able to accomplish all that in a very easy, user-friendly fashion just on the screen of the Sony Bravia TV. Well, it's fascinating technology. Andy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Phil, and I look forward to seeing you out there on the net. Thank you very much. Hi, folks. We're on the Sony booth, and we're looking at the OLED screens at the moment. Uh, they're rather good. This is the first time I've actually seen any of these. And if you look behind me now, you can see this is the one that's on the market for 2500 It's absolutely beautiful. The imagery is crystal clear, the colours are so vibrant, it really hits you in the face. The ones you can see behind are actually concept ones, they're not on the market yet, not scheduled to come out yet. They're the larger sizes obviously, not sure how, you know, how high or how wide we can go with these, how big the screens can get, but they are simply breathtaking to look at as I'm sure you can appreciate. And we're on the Sony stand, we're going to look at one of the new innovations. It's a concept, so it may or may not become a product. I'm with Sean. Sean's going to tell us about it. It's Flex OLED, so tell us about it. 
Well, last year the, we showed OLED that you could actually purchase an 11 inch, the XL one, beautiful television. But we're taking that uh, concept to the next step, which is making it flexible. Uh, what we have behind us is a 0.2 millimeter panel that I can bend to a 2.5 centimeter radius. So if you think about it, if you can bend it and keep viable video at that size of a, of a radius, you can do anything with it. Uh, a couple of things we're showing here is a, a possibility of a, of a notebook or, uh, with, that's actually OLED totally an OLED screen with touch sensor, so you could use it as a keyboard or maybe move your images around. Um, you could embed it in jewelry, make a Walkman out of a bracelet, right? And then actually touch control, see your track information, your album art. Uh, the, you might also take one of our wonderful readers that have been so popular and make it very, very thin and touch sensitive. All of that is great, but we're also very energy efficient because with OLED, you're either the pixels either on or off, so that gives us great contrast and gives us really, really great efficacy of power. So this way, your battery consumption would be very, very little. Um, not a product, but very, very cool nonetheless. What we're seeing here is a 2.5 inch with the resolution of 160 by 120, um, and that's the future of OLED, flexible. So another innovation for CES 2009 is 3D TV, and I'm on the Sony stand with Ryan, and we're going to discuss what Sony are looking at for the 3D TV. Now, this is a concept behind us. It's not a finished product. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Phil. Actually, uh, what we want to do here at the show is bring consumers into the theater and show them what 3D looks like uh, on the professional end of our business, the broadcast end, and then bring them outside here, and we have three different stations set up for them. On the other end is a movie experience, uh, let's say maybe on the Blu-ray player, a 24P experience, and on these two monitors right here, you have a gaming experience uh, hooked up to a PS3, and then this here would be your broadcast experience, perhaps watching something on a cable box or a satellite box. Now, 3D is, is coming, there's no doubt about that. The, the number of manufacturers this year actually showing product is massive. Um, now, you're looking at this as a concept, but you haven't actually decided where you're going with it, is that right? Right. Uh, at Sony, we, uh, we're not committed to anything, but we're open to everything. Uh, we're basically seeing that there's a lot of different avenues to cross, and we, uh, we want to make sure we get it done right for the consumers out there. We want to give them that best experience and there's many different uh, paths to the, getting the best 3D experience out there. So we want to make sure that we give the, the customers that. Now one thing that, that our members always talk about out there um, on AV forums is they're not sure about wearing these specs to watch TV. Mm -hmm. um, now is it just going to be a, a spectacle based system or are you looking at other technologies? Right, well based off of what I've heard from some folks here at the show there are different technologies out there. There's some with the glasses, some without. Uh, where we decide to go down, uh, we're still not 100% sure. But uh, for this demonstration, the folks here uh, at CES, they do have to wear the, the glasses over just to get that 3D effect for them. But that doesn't mean uh, we're not open to other possibilities. And I suppose as well, as Sony, um, you obviously have your own movie studio as well, so That's right, that uh, con content shouldn't be a problem for you guys. Right, yeah, we have tons of movies out there. With that um, experience on the broadcast end, uh, whether it be 3D or just high def in general, from the lens to the living room is what we've really been talking about uh, in the last few months. We provide that experience on the broadcast end, and the knowledge we pick up on the broadcast and professional end, we can then put out into the consumer world as well. Well, it's fascinating technology. Thanks very much for your All time, right. Ryan. Thanks, Phil. And that wraps up our look at the Sony stand for this year's CES 2009. Join us again for more videos coming very soon.